Hello again. In this video, we are going to discuss PLC no response. This can be caused by a few different things. The number one reason is cabling, protocol and driver setup, or last but not least, addressing. So, let's get started. PLC no response. That's never fun. But usually it's a pretty easy fix. A good place to start is with a resource that uh, Easy Builder Pro provides. Go to uh, Edit and System Parameters. And on the Device tab, double click on your PLC. And uh, you'll see there's a link here for the uh, connection guide. Go ahead and uh, click on it. And uh, it brings up this nifty little PDF. And uh, from here you can actually either uh, download all the PDFs for each driver. Um, or you can use this, uh, this online tool and uh, here you, it, it actually helps you uh, drill down and find the actual uh, connection guide you're looking for. So uh, the first thing you do is just highlight the manufacturer and then the PLC model and then come down and select a driver. Now in this case um, there's only one driver for this model but sometimes there's two depending on the COM protocols and uh, or sometimes all the protocols are within one driver. So you want to just uh, scroll on down and uh, double click on the PDF. Now uh, what you want to do is uh, find the actual model that that you're using in particular and uh, check the, uh, the cable configuration and double check uh, to make sure that your configuration is the same as as this. Um, you will want to check your PLC manufacturer to make sure that the uh, that the pinout is is the same on the other end. Um, I will tell you this: if uh, if you're doing a a model conversion, converting a project from one model to another it's always a good idea to uh, to check this first because a lot of the models have different pin or COM port configurations for different protocols so uh, that's something you want to go ahead and double check for sure. Go ahead and make note of the uh, of the required COM port for the protocol that you're using and uh, when you uh, Go into Easy Butter Pro. Go ahead and double check, make sure that that's set properly. Um, you want to go ahead and, and click uh, Settings and check your uh, check your serial settings. Of course, your COM port, uh, your baud rate, your data bits. Uh, make sure your parity is the same, and of course, your stop bits. Now you may have an Ethernet connection. Um, if you do, the first thing you want to check is uh, your uh, IP address. You want to make sure that you're uh, on the same network as your PLC. Here's a typical uh, HMI PLC setup. You'll notice the last segment of the IP address only is different. And of course, you'll also want to check your uh, sub mask and your gateway settings to make sure that they are also within the same network. So uh, let's move on to addressing. Easy Builder Pro has a cool little tool you can use here. If you uh, go to uh, View, and uh, make sure the address grid is checked. You'll see this uh, 
address tab over here you can access. And uh, if you notice, uh, I can select either a, a bit or word object. And I can select either uh, my local HMI or one of my PLC drivers. And you'll see uh, all of the available protocols or, or uh, data types are, are here. Um, so here in this case, uh, D registers. The starting register is D0. And um, you can click on the uh, corresponding uh, register and it will uh, display the data format right here for you. So uh, if you notice anywhere I click, it changes the address. It's just a great little tool to give you driver specific uh, information on formatting and also, uh, also usage within the project. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and add another driver here, um, something maybe more people are familiar with. Uh, we want to go to Edit, System Parameters, and uh, on our Device tab we want to edit our PLC. And uh, go to our list of one of many, many drivers. Let's go ahead and uh, find our Rockwell. And uh, let's do a uh, standard Ethernet DF1. As you can see, here's all your data formats you're familiar with. Click OK. Oh, well, let me go ahead and uh, fix the IP address so we don't have a conflict here. 98. OK. OK. All right. Now, uh, as you can see here, I can click on any one of these addresses and uh, it displays your formatting up here. So, and that's how it would be formatted in your object. So uh, let me go ahead and edit our object here. And uh, drill down to our N7. You can see it's highlighted in red here. So, uh, just a just a great tool for you to uh, use to make sure you've got your formatting right. So uh, you can always go ahead and double check that. And uh, that way you know you're on track. I will go ahead and give you one more uh, tip that I always use. Uh, if all else fails, go ahead and uh, create another little project um, uh, with only one word or uh, possibly even a, a bit object and, uh, and go ahead and test it with each driver and uh, see if you have the same issue. And I'll tell you why. Um, there are uh, there's uh, a few different things that can cause the no response other than just your graphic objects. Uh, you could perhaps have a macro that's doing reads and, and writes and, uh, and they're possibly addressed incorrectly. Uh, you could have uh, data sampling or, uh, or uh, data transfer on a time-based uh, uh, that, that cycling and if those are incorrect or can't communicate for one of the other reasons uh, uh, that could uh, that could also give you a no response. So that's a good little tip and uh, usually it'll get you out of a pickle. Thanks for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our instructional videos.